Hey there. Hey there. This is Nina at Walla Stamping. Thank you so much for joining me today. So I had a subscriber who had watched my video on the um, Gift Tag Tuesday, the project I created that um, had the candy cane in it and I used some of the stitched edged real red ribbon to tie a bow and um, when I was tying the bow I was just talking and going through it really quickly and not all of it was definitely on camera so um, she had sent me a comment and asked if I would show how I tied that bow so that's what this video is for today now I know that a lot of you probably um, tie a bow differently than I do and that's perfectly okay and and probably the way you do it may be even better than the way that I do it but this is what works for me and I'm just going to show this today for my one subscriber who had asked me if I would do that so I'm going to take a length of ribbon that is probably about 10 to 12 inches long. If I have a ribbon that is narrower, say that it's a quarter of an inch or something like that, I'm not going to necessarily cut that length of ribbon. I may only do six or seven inches, but because this ribbon is wider, it's going to take a little more of it to create the bow, so I cut myself a little bit longer piece. So this is how I do a bow. I hold the short end um, over the underneath part of my fingers and hold it with my thumb. The longer piece I wrap around my fingers and then I come back over and I more or less have a little crisscross here then I form it into the shape of a bow and the longer piece that I just wrapped around my finger I'm going to take that and wrap it down and around and come back over the top which this is actually going to end up being the back and then I tuck that piece of ribbon under this loop right here and I wiggle it through and sometimes you have to fiddle with it just a little bit there we go and then I start pulling it and getting it tight just like that then I flip it over and I look at it and I start making some adjustments if I need to. If I want the bow to be small like this, then I just leave it as it is. But if I want it to be a little bit larger, then I just start making adjustments. And sometimes I have to pull that ribbon again to get that knot tied tight. So there is my bow and then I have this little extra length here that I'm not going to need so I'll just cut that away. So that's how I tie a bow. Um, if I'm not tying it to something already, if I'm just tying it loose in the air, that is how I make a bow. So for any of you out there who have never done a bow this way before, hopefully this was beneficial for you and it'll help you in the future with your creative projects. So um, I'd like to invite you to go over to my website at wallastamping.com. I have quite a few other tutorials there with free PDFs that you can print off. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below or you can also leave me a comment on my website. Also, I wanted to let you all know that Stamping Up has a huge sale going on through the month of December and it is product that is up to 60% off. So if you've ever been interested in buying some of Stamping Up product, now is an opportune time for you to do that. You can shop online through my online store by clicking the link below as well as going through my website. There will be a link there too. So you all have enjoyed the tutorial today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.